That's it for your morning consumer news. Time now is 519. Let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Art Jarrett and get a look at today's forecast. Hi, Art. Hey, Alexandra. What a day we're having. In <laughs> fact, we have, uh, uh, again, some more rainfall on the way for your morning commute. We're looking at the possibility of more of that rainfall stinking into uh, portions of uh, the afternoon as well. We'll also take a quick peek here. Getting into patchy to dense fog, it will be a wet commute for you. So please, as I've already mentioned, take it slow. We have an 80% chance of showers and storm activity, and this may continue to roll right into the afternoon and then begin to taper off just for a couple of hours then start up again. So we may keep this 80% going on for the better part of the day. Then this evening and tonight we have more storm activity coming in for your evening commute and extending all the way possibly to the midnight hour. That being said, we take a look here at the fog and low cloud activity. There's some dense fog out there and the possibility of uh, some patchy fog out there continuing into the area. We go right into when this all begins to break out because we've got some winds coming in from the west and the southwest. They're going to start to blow this all out and start to clear out the skies you can see here or a low level cloud cover I should say and start to open it up and allow a lot of that uh, uh, fog to dissipate or at least lift. Here's the rainfall that we're experiencing right now. It's crossing the Mississippi River. You've got the lighter stuff working in right now and then eventually you have another big batch coming in headed for Eau Claire. Some of that's going to swipe into our area for La Crosse and then eventually track to the north northeast. We'll also see this lobe here. They're splitting in two different varieties. You can see right here this one is tracking all the way towards Madison and Milwaukee while this one is going further to the north and northeast out of the area. So that leaves an open packet for us as we finish out the afternoon and we get a bit of a break for that there. So storms as you can see right here mostly in the morning and coming back again at night and then we'll see the uh, the weekend to look pretty nice. We have some showers coming in for Saturday but eventually we'll get to the sunshine for everybody in the afternoon there continuing into uh, Sunday. All right as we roll into the noon hour that rainfall starts to back off. We see that get out of the way and that heads out of the way so we have a bit of a break going into the until the two o'clock hour where you see maybe a, a spotty shower or a storm kind of popping in the picture. And then by 530, that's when we're back in the mix of the rainfall again, all the way up to Eau Claire as well, extending up to Lady Smith and down to Prairie du Chien. That begins to diminish a bit with a with some uh, drier air working into the forecast there, headed for Decorah, and then eventually for us. We open up the skies a bit for you and get into some clearing. And then you see up to the north, they're starting to clear as well. That breaks out, and then we go into Friday, and then we're in the wee hours of the morning with a spotty shower, possibly about 3 o'clock. More coming in at 725 in the, in the morning hour, extending all the way into the mid-morning hours and into the noon hour and possibly into the afternoon for the better part of your Friday. And then that gets out of the way with another batch coming in briefly for the latter portion of your evening commute. Once we get into the overnight for Friday going into Saturday, well, it begins to diminish. We have uh, flood potential, as you can see. It is widespread across the state today and not much uh, going on for tomorrow, but you see it's well up to our northeast and out of the area. Highs today looking at 70 all the way up to about 82 degrees. Enjoy it out there and be safe as the day progresses with all this rainfall. Back to you.